Do you know who this is? He's one of the most powerful characters in Marvel Comics. His name is Eternity, and he came into existence when the universe was formed. He is like a living creature version of the universe. It sounds pretty cool, isn't it? Now, what if I told you that we're not much different than him? That we all have some universe with ourselves? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ceren Yazıcı. I'm a sophomore at the Department of Physics. And despite what you have just witnessed, I'm not going to talk about Marvel Comics or the Eternity. Instead, today I'm going to talk about two similarities between the universe and the human body. And as you can see from my outline, first I'm going to talk about the elements which human body and the universe contain, and then I'm going to talk about the structural similarities. Let me start with the ingredients of human body. Our bodies contain lots of different elements, but a huge part of them are made up of only a few elements. To make it more clear, I want to show you an illustration which I borrowed from an article by Anne Helmstein, who is a science author. And if you look at the percentages, you can see that almost 99% of our bodies has, have only six elements, which are oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. Now, let's look at the universe. The universe contains billions on, of galaxies, each contain millions and billions of stars. As one of the greatest minds of all time, Albert Einstein said, we know nothing at all. Our knowledge about the universe is so limited. But from what we know, just as our bodies, our universe ha contain only a few elements. To make it more clear, I want to show you this line graph, which I borrowed from Wolfram Research Incorporation. It illustrates the abundance in the universe of the elements. The vertical axis represents the percentage abundance. And if you look at this tiny part, it shows between 0.01% and 100%. We can see that most of the elements have very low percentages. For example, if you look at zinc, which is right here, it has a percentage of about 10 to the minus 5%, which is very small. Well, what we have between 0.01% and 100% we have hydrogen, helium, oxygen, carbon, neon, nitrogen, and calcium. Most of them that sound familiar, right? It is because the elements in our bodies and the elements in the universe are significantly similar. Let me continue with the second part of my presentation. In the Eastern spiritual discipline of Taoism, the human body has long been viewed as a small universe. As billion dollar investments are made in the United States and the Europe to research brain functioning, the correlations between the brain and the universe continue to arise. A study conducted by Dmitry Kriakov of the University of Northeastern and a team of researchers created a computer simulation that breaks down known universe into tiny units of space and time. And they found that the interactions between matters and galaxies are, put, are very similar to the interactions that comprise neural networks in human brain. And these pictures are the visual representations of his results. The connection between the galaxies is called as cosmic web. It connects individual galaxies by electromagnetic interactions. On the other hand, in our bodies, the system is called as human brain neural network. What it does is pretty much similar to the cosmic web. It connects individual neurons in human brain. I think we all can agree in that these two systems both look and sound almost the same. And after these results, the idea of microuniverse has been very popular again. In 2013, a couple of researchers from the Kerman University of Medical Sciences published an article about the similarities between biological cells and the universe. And the outcome of their work was pretty much similar to the Kiriowski's work. They came into conclusion that almost all that exists in the universe can be pictured as a microuniverse in biological cells. For example, if we look and compare a, a birth of a cell and a death of a star, or a human eye and a nebula, we can understand the idea better. Long story short, they try to say that we can see the universe within us. They further claim that not only the way they seem is similar, also the way the systems work is similar too. Like in this example, at the top, we can see the first, sta first few stages of the embryonic cell division. And at the bottom, we can see the stages of development of the universe. And I think they are beautiful. And here I came to the end of my presentation. 
Today I have tried to show you two similarities between the human body and the universe. And first I talked about the common elements. We saw that almost 99% of our bodies and 95% of the universe are made of from the same elements. And then I tried to explain the structures of human brain and the universe. And we saw that the systems are shockingly similar. And I'm not sure that if we will ever be able to find the exact meanings of these similarities. But in my opinion, we are the universe trying to understand itself. And I'd like to thank you all for your very kind attention. If you have any questions or any comments, I'd, I'll be more than glad to have them now. And if you don't, here's my reference list. You can check them out. <laughs>